Hi there, Maureen from Color Me Positive PLR, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to create um, a card, a five by seven card that you can sell on your in your Etsy store, on your shop, and you can sell them as digital downloads. So people will print them out themselves on their own card stock and do what they will with them afterwards. Or you could sell them as hard hard physical products if you like as well from your Etsy store and even actually personalize them for people if if you like if that's something you want to do and then you have to deal with the shipping and all that stuff but some people prefer that okay so it's very simple what you need to do is just create a template that will allow people to know where to cut it and how to fold it and all that kind of stuff and for you to actually create the card itself you're going to want to go to insert first okay and this is an eight and a half by eleven page in landscape mode right so you do that first you set your your um, your page size custom slide size right and the width is eleven and the height is eight point five inches and that's in landscape okay so what I'm going to do is insert a shape, rectangle, and it doesn't matter how big you make it here. So while you're clicked on it, what you want to do, okay, is you want to come up here and change, right? Let's go to shape format. So the height is going to be 7, and your width is going to be 10, because we're going to be folding it in half, right? So that'll make it... Uh, five by seven card okay once it's folded and then you're going to want to come over here for your shape go to outline no outline and i'm going to fill it with yellow because it just makes it easier for me to see where everything is and then you want to going to come over here on your shape format go to align center align middle okay so now you you know you're perfectly spaced right and you can make it easier for yourself by using guides so that things kind of snap into place. You know where they're going to end up. So if you don't see these, okay, you're going to want to come over to view and guides. Okay, see, so click on guides and they come back. Right. So now what I want to do is take these guides and place them around so I know what, what I'm working with or you could just leave this and work within that but I prefer the guides because things tend to snap into place so I'm holding down my shift key and my control key and see when you get this double edged arrow thing here hold down shift control and drag it over to the edge of that and then I'm going to hold down shift and control again and drag it over to this edge. Okay. Then I'm going to come down to the center line here, a horizontal line. I'm going to hold down shift and control and drag it to the top of this rectangle. There we go. And do it again. Shift, control, drag it to the bottom of your rectangle. Okay, so here I'm going to go to Selection Pane. I'm just going to turn that off so you can see. So there's the outline, and then you have your center. This one's not so important in the middle, but this one is the center here. Okay, so that's how you set it up. Also, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to insert so they know where to fold it, right? So when you're selling this to your customers or even making them for yourself you're going to want to fold it in the middle and it's easier for them to do that if they have a line to follow so you're going to want to go to insert shapes and then you're going to want to go to lines okay and i'm just and i'm going to draw it outside the uh thing so it actually goes right to the edge okay so here's your line i want it 
larger, right? And I want it to be black. So I'm going to come over to shape format, shape outline, because it doesn't have a color it, uh, shape fill. It's actually just an outline. And I'm going to go to black. And then I'm going to go to shape outline again, go to weight, and I'm going to make it six points. So it's really visible, right? So you want it a little bit away from the card so it doesn't bleed in there. And it doesn't matter if you go outside. That won't print outside anyway. Uh, then you're going to want to come over to Align. And you want that in the center. Right? Then I'm going to, while this is still selected, I'm going to hold down Control and C and copy that. Then Control and V and copy that. And then I'm going to drag this down here. And again, I'm going to come over to Shape Format, Align, Center. Okay, so when they print this out, those lines will be there. They can start their scissors if they use a scissors to cut or, you know, one of the other things I use in crafts. I never remember the name of it. That will actually cut through that, right? Or fold. This is actually a fold. Now... I don't usually put lines outside, you know, where it says cut, cut, because it's pretty obvious where to cut, right? Because <laughs> your images are going to be there. Okay, so this is what I have to work with. So what I'm going to do is insert, come over to insert pictures, okay, from this device. And I've chosen a couple of pictures just to work with for now, but choose whatever you want. So I'm going to insert the background first. And that's going to be the front of the card. So the right side is the front of your card. And you can place it where you think. See, now when you're placing it, you can see these outlines. So you kind of know what's going to be within that, right? So place it accordingly, whatever you like. And I think less there. Now, you're not going to want to drag this to make it fit in there. You're, you're going to want to come over to picture format and go to your crop tool over here right so just click on crop so this way the image doesn't distort and then you see these things on the outside now come up here and you're going to want to drag it down all right there and this one I want that in the middle and this one and then this one down here Okay, now where you, when you have it the way you like it, just come over here and click crop again. And there you have it within there. And you can just, if you don't like the placement, you can go back to crop. And you can even just move it around like this, right? I think I like that. And hit crop again. So you can play with that. All right, that's good for me. So that's how to put in a, an image, or you could just have a solid color. You could do whatever you like with the front, okay? Uh, I'm going to insert my little cherub. I love her. Okay, and I'm just going to make her smaller. I'm going to sit her over here. So you place whatever you like on your front cover, right? I'm going to leave that. Now, I put this in. I usually like the back of my cards plain, right? If you want to put in something like a, I don't know, uh, maybe your logo on the back, a small logo, if you're going to be, you know, giving those out physically, um, I would suggest putting nothing, really. Uh, so they can put whatever they want on the back if they if they actually go in and change them themselves. Or if you don't want that, just you don't want them to change anything. They download, they print them out, which most people do anyway who are doing crafts or making their own cards. Uh, you could put a little logo or a little, you know, your name somewhere on it if you like. Uh, I tend to leave them blank unless I'm putting maybe... Um, a saying or I'll show you here okay so I'm gonna click this is the background right I made it yellow in the beginning 
So what I want to do is kind of make it the same as this. So I'm going to go to Shape Format, Shape Fill, and I'll use the eyedropper, and I want the background that color, okay, the same as the front. So Now, I sometimes like to put in uh, insert shape. I'm going to rectangle. Sometimes I like to put this in so there's a kind of fold, you know. You have that on books sometimes. I like it on the cards sometimes as well. Okay, so when you do that, you go to shape, format, align, center, align, middle. Okay. You want to make sure there's no outline and the fill so eyedropper. I think I want to pick up maybe that color. So then when this is folded, this will be on the front, but I kind of don't like that. So I'm going to pull it over. Okay. This will be on the back. So once that's folded, you'll have that on the front and this on the back. And like I said, you can do anything you want with the back too. If you want that to be, you know, fancy schmancy, <laughs> you could do that as well. Uh, I think I'm just going to go into maybe put in a couple of hearts. So I'm going to go to insert icon. And let's, I'm just going to search for heart. Okay, cool. Insert. Okay, I think I want to do this with it, kind of like have it on the edge. Um, so let's, I'm going to do Control C while I'm on the heart, and then I'm going to Control V a couple of times. Okay, and I'm going to place them like that. And when you're doing this, when you have a lot of stuff, you know, if you're doing journals and you do uh, dots or lines or whatever, you could do this and just place these pretty much anywhere. You don't have to be too fussy. Uh, so if you want to make it all kind of line up, place the top where you want it and the bottom where you want it, okay? And then just... Control, click on, on the things you'd like to line up so they're all selected, all right? And they're going to come over to Graphics Format, Align. Now I want them all to align to the left, okay? So see how that lines them up. And then I want evenly spaced hearts, so I'm going to go Align. Well, not yeah, you go to Align, then you go to Distribute Vertically. There we go. And now they're all perfectly spaced, all right, to each other. So I'm going to change the colors of this. I think I'm going to click on the heart, and I want to go to Graphics Fill. I'm going to Eyedropper. I think I want to pick up this blue a bit here. Yeah, I like it. Okay, and then I'm going to do this a different color, but I'm going to skip this one. And while I still have the blue up here, see Graphics Format, Graphics Fill, I'm just going to click there. So it makes it just a bit easier, right? And then I'm going to come back here, go to Graphics Fill, pick up the eyedropper. Uh, might be a little too light for me, so I'm going to go back again, eyedropper. That's better. Then I'm going to do th the same thing to the ones that are left. Okay? And that's what I would print as a card. Once it's out, you fold it in half and you have a 5 by 7 card. Right? So you can sell this as a file uh, on your in your Etsy store in your own shop. Um, you just flatten it to a P... Well, you save it as a PDF file and that's the file you sell to them. They print it out and they do what they want with it after. Okay, um, so it, this is a f five by seven. 
now. Hmm. Let's see. And if you want a like a horizontal kind of card, and you want it to be seven by five, right? So I'll open this one up. We can do the same thing on here. All right. So it's just basically the opposite way, right? You're going to fold it here. So this is an eight and a half by 11 inch page. And your rectangle is going to be 10 inches in height and seven inches wide because when you come to fold it right you're going to fold it right there and it's going to be a seven by five card okay so it's, it's pretty simple to do this and i'm going to zip these powerpoint files up for you uh, so you can f use them follow along or make your own okay like i showed you in the beginning you can create your own right and you could do that with pretty much any size card. Okay, so uh, it's pretty simple. Once you get it, just do it a few times and, and it is simple. Okay, so I hope this helps and I hope you have a lot of fun creating cards. And if you're going to be selling them, I hope you make a lot of money. <laughs> All right, talk to you soon.